As I was reading my book the other day, there was one sentence that really stood out to me. It said we are all warriors in our own time. And how true is that? Sometimes we are prepared for what's ahead of us. Sometimes we clearly see the storm coming, overshadowing our life. We feel the cold breeze. We feel the wind getting stronger and stronger. And other times, we get surprised by the rain that pours down on us, and we feel lost, seeking shelter. Storms don't come and gently ask us to change, to adjust, or to grow. They simply demand it. It is hard to stand at the airport, saying bye to someone that you love more than words can even express. It is hard to sit at a hospital bed and seeing a tiny body who is fighting cancer. It is hard to smile while someone is talking behind your back and destroys a friendship that you so carefully built together. It is hard to accept failure, even though you tried so hard. Sometimes we don't get the happy ending. We are all warriors in our own time. Even if you can't find the strength to get up, know that I believe in you. Even if you feel defeated, keep on fighting. You survived too many storms to be bothered by raindrops. You can make it through this one too. You are a warrior. Never forget that. So as the storm is raging, keep going, keep moving, keep fighting. And always remember, storms don't last forever. The sun will soon shine, and the brightest rainbows always come after the darkest and heaviest storm. It's not over yet. You are a warrior in your own time. When was the last time that you read something? Or maybe you heard something? A sentence, a phrase. Maybe you heard a story and it started to really inspire you. This is the story of this video. As you just watched the intro video, it talked about being a warrior. One sentence, just how I shared it in the intro video, said, we are all warriors in our own time. This is the book, very, very sweet, wonderful book. Um, I do love the author. I have read many books by her. Anyway, as I was reading this book, it, and as I read that one certain sentence, it really, really, really stood out to me and I'm going to be very transparent with you and I'm going to be honest this year really tested me um, it was a hard year it was a very hard and challenging year for me personally for my family um, there were lots of trials that we walked through um, lots of hard days lots of tears were shed and um, as hard as this year was, 
I'm also thankful for it because it brought out the strongest version of me. The strongest version that I didn't even know that existed. And as I worked on the intro video a couple of weeks ago, I shared it on my personal Facebook page and my Instagram page. And I had so many people who reached out and they really loved the video and they thanked me. Um, because they are going through something right now and it gave them a little bit of hope. Sometimes it's hard for me because when I post a video, I, I still get nervous um, because I share personal stuff in there too. And lots of personal feelings are being put into this video and then I share it with the public. I share it with people so you never know how they respond to it. They never know if people would like it or not. Um, but just to see that other people needed that as much as I did. And to see that it gave some people hope made me feel so much better. And I knew that it was worth it. And that's the struggle that I have. When I go through something I walk through it, but I always have a hard time when my family or close friends are walking through something because I want to help. I want to be there. I want to fix it. And sometimes I feel so helpless. So a couple of weeks ago, a, um, a very close friend of mine um, had to fly back home because they had a family emergency. And it was right at that time when I was creating that video. And um, I wanted to share that video with her because I felt helpless. And I felt like maybe that was something that I could offer. I could offer her that video. And, um, and she absolutely loved it. And she shared it with some of her people back home as well. Um, so if you are going through something and if you are being tested right now, if whatever you're going through, please know that this video is for you. And I started with this intro video, but I decided to maybe keep this whole video. I want to dedicate this to you guys. I know one thing that always helps me is to be in nature. That is one thing that always fills my cup and it always makes me feel better. So I thought, what if I take you guys with me? What if we can just go on a nature walk together? What if that will make you feel better? What if that will make me feel better? So why don't you come along and why don't you just enjoy this video, this slow, thoughtful video and what if this can give you hope? What if I can be the one who can cheer you on, who can say, you can do this, you can walk through this trial? What if I can tell you that there is light at the end of the tunnel? Because as you saw in the intro video, as you heard, and I want to tell you this again, no storm will last forever. It won't. Every single storm will come to an end. And that always is something that I have to remember and that is something that helps me. And so I hope that that helps you as well. So why don't you grab a cup of coffee or make yourself a wonderful cup of tea and we're just going to walk through Alaska's nature today. Let's go for a nice afternoon walk together.
we did it. Oh my goodness. Um, but first of all, I hope that this walk was as relaxing to you as it was for me. I am so glad that I took this afternoon off. I am so glad that I brought the dogs. I am so glad that I brought the cameras and I am just so glad that you came with me. Um, there is just something about being in nature. It just relaxes me every single time. And I, I mostly did videography. However, I took a couple of pictures. So I think I'm gonna go through them as soon as I get home. Um, because I have noticed that I need to do this right away. Um, I guess because you're still in the whole mood you're still in this whole I don't know there's just a feeling about it because if I wait a couple of days I don't want to look at the pictures anymore which is just so so weird and I even noticed that when I have photo shoots I have to do the same thing as soon as I get home I look at them um, and I already create a new folder then and put the nice pictures that I want to keep in the folder and most of the time I already start the editing process the same night. So anyway, oh my goodness, my cup is just so, so full. Um, but now it's almost six o'clock, so it is time to go back home. It is time to work on dinner. And um, like I said, let's go home and let's look at the pictures and see how they turned out. I guess it comes the moment of truth. Um, we're going to look through the pictures that I took today and I actually think um, that I might use one of them as my, um, as my thumbnail for this video. Um, I have one in mind, but sometimes you never know. You know, sometimes you think that you took the perfect shot and once when you see it on your laptop, um, or even once when you edit it, you were like, that looked different um, in my head and that looked different once when I took the picture. So sometimes they just don't turn out exactly how you envisioned it, so you never know. And sometimes the pictures where you least expect it um, are the best ones. So I, I selected those two, I really like that one um, and this one just in case. I like this one. I don't know for the thumbnail but I think I'm still going to select, select this one. Um, this will be a nice picture right here. So let's grab this one. This is the picture that I actually really, really, really like. Um, it is still unedited, um, but I already love it. I love the sky and especially the clouds. And I do love the five different birds on the side. And it also really shows some of the fall colors. So let's see how it looks like once when we edit it. So this is how the sky looks before. And I just wanted to lighten it up a little bit. I 
I absolutely love it. I think this would be a great, great thumbnail for this video. Because I can even put the title up here and just have the nature in the background. Um, so for sure we're going to save this one. And then we're going to look at the other ones that we have. This was a different one. And we have the same background, but we have more birds. So let's just edit those a little bit. See, we're just brightening it up. I am not a big editor. Um, I do edit my pictures, but I feel like lately everybody is over editing their pictures and I like to keep mine still very natural. Let's look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love the shadows, I love the light shining in, and I love the lady walking her dog. So this is the same picture that I took earlier. So this is the same lady walking the dog. Um, I just zoomed a little bit out and for some odd reason I really 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 like this in black and white lately I really enjoy the black and white pictures because they are so timeless so maybe we're just gonna keep it black and white because then we have one in color and then one in black and white what do you guys think Isn't this absolutely beautiful? I am so happy. So this is what we have so far. This is the first picture. This is the second one. Third, fourth, fifth. So as you can see, it is already dark outside. Darkness is coming back. Darkness is taking over Alaska again. Um, the wonderful, the wonderful days and nights of 24 hours of sunlight here in Alaska. Um, they're already coming to an end. Um, winter is almost here. 
it feels like it is like right there so the next video that you are going to see i'm pretty sure we will already have some snow on the ground it was a wonderful day it was a beautiful fall day and i'm so thankful that i could take the time today to capture um, the nature to capture just the beauty and my goal is always to find those blessings in every day. My goal is to capture the beauty of every single day, no matter how hard that day is. And I hope that this video really encouraged you um, and gave you some hope. So if you are walking through something, if you are struggling with something right now, and um, it just seems that those problems or dark thoughts are just overtaking everything because we have all been in this place. Please know that you are not alone in this. Um, please know that I will cheer you on. And as the world just seems on getting crazier and crazier, um, again, I'm trying to push out positive content um, and videos of beauty and hope. I want to close out this video um, with something that I found on Facebook today, which is just so ironic because it fits into this video perfectly. It says, no storm can last forever. It will never rain 365 days. Keep in mind that trouble comes to pass not to stay. Don't worry. No storm, not even the one in your life, can last forever. And with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will tune in for the next video as well. And um, I will see you soon. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.